and uplift. Fire bullet M1 down slam purgatory blaze. Four M1s uplift fire bullet M1 down slam purgatory blaze. Holy War X. That show was cringy. I don't think I'm ever doing that again. There's actually zero Seven Deadly Sins games on Roblox. So when I hear a new Seven Deadly Sins game on Roblox coming out, I'm like, holy shit, wow. And when you hear a new Seven Deadly Sins game coming out on Roblox, you're like, holy shit, wow. And then when the owner of that Seven Deadly Sins game knows that his game is coming out and going to pop off, he's like, holy oh, fucking oh, shit, wow. wow. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. As a Roblox anime YouTuber, I've only touched one Seven Deadly Sins game on this platform, and I've been on the Roblox platform for about six years. One. And that one being Holy War X3, and I've only played about five minutes of it. <clears throat> See, I don't know about your sorry ass, but me, I've been waiting for Holy War X painstakingly for about a half a year now. No, actually more than a half a year. I've been waiting about the... No, actually more than a half a year. I've been... I... No, actually more than half a year. I know about this game since like, uh, I think somewhere beginning of this year, maybe March, April-ish. Oh, wait, maybe that is half a year? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Now you might sit here and be watching this video. <laughs> now you might be saying in your head. <laughs> now you might be sitting here watching this video saying in your head, oh, okay, all right, new, yeah, all right, it's just a little anime game. Like, what the frick is this gonna die? <clears throat> Shut the fuck up, all right? Shut the fuck up. Let me take time to explain to you why Hollywood X is gonna be the most amazing anime game on Roblox. You know what? Fuck it. Never mind, bro. Like, ah! me personally, I've never played the game before, so I don't like overhyping Roblox games. I'm not gonna overhype this game. I yeah. Let's take into consideration that it's a Roblox anime game. All right. I'm not gonna be like, ah yes, holy X! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, 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 yes! Finally. We're not overhyping. All right. We're not overhyping. No, holy War X. What I do know is this game is going to have a lot more content than Project Slayers. How do I know this? I just know, bitch. Now, let me tell you that being a YouTuber is not easy. It, it, it really isn't easy. This is my third time redoing my intro. My first intro, it was, uh, huh, no, I didn't like it at all. I'm just gonna leave it like that. My second intro was, it was too long. No, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was way too long. And mind you, for those two intros, I fully edited them. Fully. Now I have to re-edit this. So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. If you could lay down a sub, maybe follow my Twitter or join my Discord server or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, comment down below what you're playing nowadays. Are you playing Roblox still? And if you're playing Roblox, what on Roblox? If you're not playing Roblox, then are you playing, what, Valorant, CSGO, uh, League of Legends, maybe Overwatch 2? Hey, go play Overwatch 2. It's free. It's pretty fun. Also, a lot of these clips I'll be using in this video can be found on Elf vs. YouTube channel and his two TikToks, Holy War X's TikToks, I believe all the links of those in the description of the video so yeah go on and check them out i still recommend you checking them out even though you're about to watch this video and i hope you don't click off on this video but uh yeah still check them out there's a lot of information of holy war x on elf versus youtube channel and i'm going to be using a lot of that in this video just kind of putting it into one video you feel me <laughs> and at the end of this video i'm going to be giving my own opinion on the game it's going to be pretty fun uh my god Whew, editing oh uh, yeah but with that being said uh Oh shit, let me not say that. What is wrong with me? Nah, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Enjoy the rest of the video. Why is these boys in the I had to run up a way, then go to the hard. I will not let you destroy my world. I got the blink in my side. No, she got the beat when I try. What? Oh, no, be that's not hard. I would just think you get pissed at the crowd. All I got here is a seven death of sin. Crazy, crazy how this game looks like it has a bunch of potential. This game completely blew me out the water when I saw it. I didn't believe it. And now we're here. Speaking of seven deadly sins again, there is a triple A. Seven deadly sin get the impact inspired game coming out this year. But that isn't this. This is Roblox. This is better. This is holy war. Now, now today's video is a new Roblox anime game. Nah, no, stop hearing about it. It's on my Reddit page, it's on Twitter, it's everywhere. This is a game called Holy War X. It's a 7 Deadly Sins game made by my friend Alperix, and I'm seeing content on it everywhere I go. Now, my friend Ash did a video reacting to it, and the comments on that video were insane. This guy right here, I swear to God, they better take their sweet time. This game has so much potential, I'm waiting till Christmas next year. But in fact, even 2024. Oh, hell no. This game looks insane. Best graphics, yet any animations. OMG, bro, this game. So, as you can see, people are clearly very excited. Today I'm here to talk about the current state of Holy War X. The state of which it will never come out. It will never come out. It will never come out. Holy War X is coming soon. 
<laughs> no, it's not. I'm not like that. I'm gonna give it to you straight. This game shit ass. Never coming out. It's gonna be another project of theirs. It's gonna release and never update. It's gonna get 150k to 200k players. And it's not gonna update. Nobody's gonna love the game. That guy's a fucking idiot. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop you right here because I, I want to say something real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be 100% honest to you right now. In the last few months, I was so, I was so unmotivated to do YouTube, specifically Roblox YouTube. It was just boring, and I mean editing and stuff like that, yada 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 yada. You know, it was just getting boring to me. I've been waiting for Holy War X for months now since the beginning of this year. I think when I first heard of it, and I've been just waiting for it. You know, I just knew this game was going to pop off. I, I knew this. I know. I know. Okay. I just know. At the time of editing this, Alphax announced the release date for Holy War X is going to be somewhere December ish, probably the 16th to the 17th, something like that. So actually, this way, this way, it's a lot better for us to actually go for a December release. So that way, all of you guys are off school. You have all the time to be playing the game throughout the entire holidays. We might go. We might go for around the 17th of December or further on. So 16th to 17th of December because I did get some information from one of the community members that they had their prom night on, on the 16th and like I don't know you said a few others did as well so I, I feel that, like that December just gave me a huge motivation just to get back to YouTube bro like I'm not gonna lie huge motivation you can expect a lot of Holy Works content from me like a lot of Holy Works content and uh I should be able to uh should be able to get some uh some videos out um late November when Media Band is uh not not uh in place if uh if I still have Tester <laughs> I hope I have Tester very important information I just wanted to say that earlier in the video but uh yeah on on with the video make sure to like and fucking subscribe Alright, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the drip in the game and the customization menu along with the spins and etc etc. Now like I said before, we have a lot of stuff to talk about and I have a list of those stuff right in front of my face. And, and, and to just give you an idea, I'm going to read some of the stuff out. Alright, I'm re-recording this part of this video because I actually talked about less than I initially thought I was going to talk about. I had a list of stuff I wanted to talk about but then I realized while editing this 20 minutes in that uh, for one, I'm getting a lot tired from editing and two, I think it will be better if I do a part two to this video if you guys enjoyed this video instead of me wasting all my efforts into one video and you, and you just don't even like this video you feel me like <laughs> So what we're going to be talking about is the drip in the game. We're going to be talking about magics such as Purgatory Blaze, Goddess Acid, Goddess Liar, Fairy Synthesis Magic, Giant Gravity Magic, Ice Fang. Then we're going to be going over the menu and just a little bit more stuff that I don't have on the list. Now, mind you, I'm going to be going very detailed into all of this stuff, especially the magic. And once again, I'm not really showcasing stuff since all this was already showcased by Alfie, but kind of just, uh, yeah, showcasing, but also giving my opinion and kind of just reviewing the game as a whole. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing my opinion kind of on everything while giving slight opinions out here and there in the video if you get 250 likes better yet 300 if you get 300 likes i'll make another video and i'll be reviewing all all of the weapons that were showcased by Alfie in the game that includes every single common weapon i'll be going over mounts demon clan variants cutscenes gripping animations fighting styles races combos the entire map okay, not the entire map but whatever was sneaked publicly and then of course miscellaneous stuff but yeah with that being said enjoy the rest of the video like what are we six minutes in and oh my gosh anyways yeah let me stop talking bro in game customization also go watch Alpha Rex's Omega video. It's fucking hilarious. I do advise that you'd be at least 16 plus. I'm not gonna lie. So it's a little bit, huh? Yeah. It's not meant for little kids. Now I'm not gonna go too in-depth in the customization menu just because this he literally made an entire video on it. So I mean you might as well just watch his video on it. Not to mention he'll probably explain it better. And uh yeah. So with that being said, I'll leave the, the link of this in the description and uh, you can check it out for yourself. But we are gonna go through some uh some stuff. The main menu of the game kind of takes on a shinder life type of vibe. You see you have the login bonuses at the bottom right of the screen, as well as other flashy text that fills in the blank spaces, mostly for game news and advertisements, such as follow the Twitter for codes. Now there's different menu screens in the main menu. <coughs> wow, voice crack. When you first join the game, you'll be prompt to the customization menu screen. The second time you join the game, you'll be prompt up to the RPG menu screen. So this basically encourages you to customize your character so you know you don't go in the game looking like a total bum. The next thing we have is game modes. So far we have horse races, flying races, stunt races like GTA 5, rank PvP, Holy Rumble, which is using arena characters, kind of like how Shandle Life has it, arena, which is FFA using arena characters, and arena X is 
FFA using your own characters from RPG. So Arena X and Holy Rumble is kind of taken from Shindle Life. So if you play Shindle Life, then well, you know what that is. Now Arena characters is going to be like Meliodas or Ban, etc, etc, and their move kits. It's going to be pretty dope. Obviously, it's not going to have those names for copyright purposes. The story mode is going to be based off of GTA 5 Heises. At the start of every single month, there will be a new act added to the game to set you up until the final act. You can beat the acts before the final act to set you up for the final act, um, if that makes sense. There are different difficulty modes implemented within the game as well, and I believe within RPG too. Don't take my word on it, but I think so. So the RPG is basically the main game. Main story quest is basically where you grind your character and your levels and you know, if you hop in project stairs and you click play and you go grind your character slots, it's basically that. So for the community, the community is basically an open community thingy. I'll play a clip from Elfrix because he just explains it really good. Oh, that is basically the main menu. The most. And then the community. When it says when she says closed community access only, it's not actually closed community access. So it's like I mean, it's like uh, it's a public, it's an open community, right? It's gonna be an open community, and all you have to do is join the groups. You join the join like the community groups to enter a bit like NRPG uh, many years ago, if you guys remember that. So so the Rail Brothers, one of the earlier Naruto games. So one of so the community is you join the group and then you go ahead and you start to um, you get involved. That will be the last thing that we do. So this is not gonna be there in release, but it's gonna be there like kind of later on after a few updates. Probably most excited for this because the community is gonna be we're gonna get very intricate with it if you get what i'm saying so it's like with the community let's say you are in the demon faction it won't it won't be oh you're like a noble demon or, or it's just the demon faction and then the goddess faction and then the and so forth so it won't be split up into the variants obviously but then if you're just a normal demon and you're not a high rank you're gonna like you're literally your model will literally be that giant red demon mob that we have for like the um that we have for the boss so you're gonna be walking around as red demons gray demons blue demons and it's just gonna be really cool and then like there's eating souls and stuff and also in-game voice chat is gonna get pretty messy because i think we might do I'm still debating whether we do like an 18 plus side to the community or not because obviously um, Roblox has added the age restrictions thing so we might make one server for all of the community and then another server for the like the 18 plus side so that way it's like you know the older players can like properly have fun because it would just be really funny now um, yeah back to customization boom I highly suggest go watch an all first video on Holy War X customization for more info on all these game modes. And I also recommend watching his video if you want to look at the customization uh, screen where he customizes the characters and he kind of shows off the customization screen and the spins and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That video is just literally dedicated for that. And I mean, he showcases literally everything. So yeah, I would just have to like have to send you there. But uh, moving on. Different kinds of magic. There's loads of magic in Holy War X from Purgatory Blades for demons, Blaze magic for humans, Goddess light magic for goddesses, Goddess acid for goddesses, and a lot more from common to the most mythicals of magic. Now, every move in the game can be cancelled and has some kind of charge up animation. This makes it so that you can get the hell out of the way or counter. And while of course the charge up animation varies per move, it does bring a sense of balance to the game. Now, 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 I'm gonna quickly go through all the magic that we know of right now. Now, of course, there's other magic that hasn't been shown yet or sneaked in by Alfie. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Goddess Light Magic. Goddess Light Magic, it's a common, just a, you know, a lowly common. The first move is Light Jewels. Now, Light of Jewels is a blockable move. Yes, 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 yes. You can use it while flying and even though it is blockable, they will drain your block bar. Pretty deadly move, huh? All this move is, is a barrage of Light Jewels. So, um, yeah, really nothing special. Moving on. Orbs of Light, blockable. Yes, this move is blockable. Like I said before, moves can be cancelled before a certain point in the animation and this move looks very predictable. The third move is we have Purge, which is actually a block breaker. Purge is the third move on this magic kit. Pretty move that dashes you forward and the hitbox is precise according to Alpharex. Now, the fourth move. Let there be light. Literally, it's just literally a light beam, bro. It's literally a charging light beam. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's just a light beam, bro. Like, it's just a light beam. Next, we have Goddess Acid. Goddess Acid, which I believe to be a common. Now, I'm not 100% sure of this. I'm about 90%, 80% sure. It's probably a common. The first move is Corrosive Mist. Now, it deals poison damage or a poison effect, but it is blockable. Guys, let me know if you agree with me on this statement, but this move reminds me of Fire Dragon Row from Fairy Tail. Not much to talk about on this move. It literally does inflict poison damage and it's like fire dragon roar, corrosive mist, I guess. I don't know. Moving on. Number two on Goddess Acid, we have Acid Dragon, which is a block breaker. Literally an acid dragon, dude. Like it's just a duh. hey cool thing though. Little puddle of acid where the move hits. So I mean I guess that's good. Now do please keep in mind that these moves are um some of them are common. I think 
half of the stuff on this list is actually common. Don't take my word for it though. The third move on Goddess Acid is we have Caustic Geyser or Geyser. Now, I want you guys to imagine Icono's little move from ABA, but Acid. It's literally what it is. The fourth move is Rotting of All Creation. LOL, I can't show you the moves. <laughs> I can't show you the last move and not because I don't want to. It's just that... That's all the, uh, the Goddess stuff I'm going to show you today. I'm not going to show you the last move because I don't want to. Yeah, cry about it, nigga. <laughs> All right, my fellow lolly lovers. I mean, what? Now we're going to talk about all the fire magics that were sneaked by Alfie. Just like most games, you can dash to rid of the burning effects from these moves. However, dashing forward doesn't get rid of the burning effects. So you got to dash left or right. It's, uh, it's a pretty weird uh, mechanism. I've never seen that in a game before. So for death burn, which we'll be talking about more in a second, it's the one with the blue flames you might have seen earlier on in the video. You can't dash to get rid of those burning effects for death burn specifically. Actually, you can think of it as Amaterasu. Death burn burns much quicker than any other fire, so it doesn't last as long. But if you're down for a grip and you're caught in this fire, you're fucking dead. It's that simple. You're, you're dead. So the first thing I want to talk about is blaze magic. So blaze magic, I don't know, probably a common. You can think of it as your typical fire magic, and I'm pretty sure it's for humans. For the first move, we have fire bolt. So fire bolt is basically your regular fireball, and it shares similar visuals of Heken from the Marimara Nomi fruit. Well, in my opinion, it does. It's a basic move that's blockable, like I said before, it's just like an average fireball, but the effects are really done up, I'm not gonna lie, I like the effects. Now, for the second move, which is Flame Eruption. Yes, indeed, this move is a, is a block breaker. Flame Eruption is just like Flame Pillar right up your face, and it does block break, like I said before, it does block break. Did, did you get that? It, it block breaks, by the way. Now, it's just, it's basically a Flame Pillar, nothing special. Next, we have a Blazing Inferno. So for Blazing Inferno, Alfie actually never showcased this move in his videos, so I'm kinda gonna have to skip this one as i do not know what this move is or does l alfie i'm not gonna lie fourth move prominence burns yes indeed it does block break so for the fourth move of blaze magic aka prominence burn sorry prominence burst is an aoe move curls up into a ball and explodes out with bits of fire also spitting out on the outskirts also does block break did you get that yeah cool next we have purgatory blaze now this one is a very interesting magic and i'm gonna have fun talking about this the rarity on it is an ultra rare and of course none of these rarities are set in stone as when the game goes into testing and more testing happens the rarities might change or they might add on stuff to it or whatnot you know what I'm saying? so for the first move of purgatory blaze we have trick star now let me take time to explain what this move does if you watch seven deadly sins then you know what purgatory blaze is and whose magic this is if you haven't watched 7DS Purgatory Blaze is Monspeed's magic. Now, Trick Star is one of his moves and it basically allows you to switch places with all living things. Now, in in-game, Alfie made it so that you'll be able to switch with NPCs, horses, players, literally anything and everything that correlates to the laws of Trick Star. Very utility-based move and also does no damage. Now, if you didn't get what I just said, basically, just think of it as you'll be able to snap your fingers and swap with any living thing in the game. It's literally, it's literally that simple. Now, if you do not know, my fear of gravity users, um, anything that comes out of the sky it will do damage to you so let's say you are getting a meteor out of the sky one of your uh, moves is a whole ass meteor out of the sky and somebody uses trick star with you swaps your position with them and that meteor hits you yeah you're you're um, pretty much taking that damage buddy the second move for purgatory blaze is fire bullet fire bullet is a very quick block breaker move likely hard to predict because of how fast the animation is combo extender move as well what a plus plus so the third move is kaijin Ryu. Now, <clears throat> Kaijin Ryu, which is also a block breaker, basically it rains fireballs from the sky onto your target. The startup animation is what has me a bit worried about this move's usefulness in a fight, but I don't know. I haven't actually used the move before, so who knows? Maybe it's good. The fourth move for Purgatory Blaze is Purgatory Flame Bird. This is most definitely my favorite move on this kit. It's literally a gigantic bird made out of flames that auto attracts your opponent. I literally do not know how you'll be able to run or fly away from this move. The range on it looks like madness but that is all for purgatory blaze next up i'm gonna be talking about death burn now death burn huh wow like i said earlier in the video death burn has the blue flames blue flames equal true flames true flames equal an amaterasu ripoff which indeed then equals burn damage to which you cannot get rid of death burns flames burn quicker than any other flame in the game so it doesn't last as long but the damage and the fact that you can't get rid of its burning effects makes it why it's so freaking good so we have the first move blade of erosion blade of erosion is a singular slash of blue flames from your weapon that travels through air towards your opponent blade of erosion is however 
blockable. The second move is Cremating Burst. Now, Cremating Burst does block Rick, but when it comes down to this move's actual use, I don't see very much in it. It's like Deku's Finger Flick, which then knocks you back when you use it, so it's hard to imagine that you can combo someone with such a move, but maybe I'm wrong? The third move, Blazing Tornado. I like to think of this move as Flame Pillar from the Mera Mera Nomi Fruit. You basically slam the ground, creating a tornado of blue flames around you. A very enticing move. The fourth and final move of Death Burn, we have Death Burn. Now, I actually do not know why this magic has so many luck workers, but it's most definitely on the very rare side of the rarity list. I don't know the actual rarity of this magic, but I can imagine that it's pretty freaking rare, man. So Death Burn, which is the fourth move of Death Burn, lol. <laughs> Indeed, block breaks. The animation is actually pretty slow in my opinion, but I'm sure there's good use in this move. And that is all for Death Burn. A very scary magic indeed. Now we're gonna go on to Ice Fang, which is the only ice magic that was sneaked. And uh, I do not know the exact rarity of this magic, but if I had to guess, it's probably not that rare. Ice Fang also got a rework months ago, mostly visual changes and more enhanced for less lag. Also, some of the moves for Ice Fang freezes and stuns you just like, let's say, GPO's he hey. So for the first move, we have Rapid Fire, which is a barrage of icicles. It's an instant cast move that slows you down while using it. You can't aim this move wherever you want. It's only set to a vertical angle. So if you're aiming up, it, it won't go up. Also, it doesn't bug break. Next, we have Glacial Surge, which is the second move of Ice Fang. So it's kind of like Todoroki's Ice Stomp, but weaker <laughs> Lala Mayo. however it does block break next we have frost spikes this move is kind of self-explanatory in its name <laughs> frost spikes spikes of ice from the ground with the first couple of spikes hitting in front of you and the others seem to kind of be rng and not set to a specific distance from your character but i might be wrong about the rng part of this move also this move is blockable next we have the ultimate which is hailstorm also the last move the fourth move so hailstorm brings ice particles down from the sky wherever you use it hitting any target located in its ice circle that was made as you use the move if you ask me it should be used more of a defensive utility based move for even trapping people in this domain and then capitalizing off of that so for example use the move in a defensive way you get somebody in it and then you got i don't know use another move to like if like more damage off of that we basically just capitalize off of it but yeah i think you get my point all right next up i'm going to be showing you fairy synthesis magic and giant gravity magic now, i can't clearly explain what every move does as all the footage i have for giant gravity magic and fairy synthesis magic is not enough for me to even tell what the moves are called although i do have clips of how the moves look so at least you'll be able to see that and i'm gonna i'm gonna play fairy synthesis magic first then giant gravity magic second so i guess that's better than nothing but uh yeah i can't go too in depth on these two hopefully you enjoy
Okay, we reviewed everything that I wanted to put in this video. Right now, we should be about almost at the 25 minute mark, which I think is like enough. Honestly, there's a lot more I want to talk about, but I don't think I'm gonna get to do that in this video. So like I said before, if this video gets 300 likes, I'll do a part two to this video where we kind of talk about all the weapons in the game that was showcased by Elfie publicly. So not all, all of the weapons in the game, but all the weapons that are publicly showcased by Elfie. Then we're gonna go on to mounts, demon clan variants, cutscenes, gripping animation, fighting styles, races, combos, the map, miscellaneous stuff that I can't think of on top of my head that might be on my list so like i said before 300 likes now of course i'm going to sit down for probably the next five minutes and i'm just going to talk about the game in my own eyes and my opinion what i see in the game so everything is appealing what i think elfers is doing right now is he is advertising the game really well he's selling his product really well to the community like he's outstandingly doing it i think other developers can learn something from just watching holy war x and seeing what they're doing i think other developers should take notes on what alfrex is doing and his team so let me explain a couple of things that alfrex is doing first of all the game is releasing at a reasonable time somewhere between december 16th December 17th which is on a weekend and not to mention a lot of us will be off of school you know Christmas break the best times to release a game is during Christmas break during holidays or the summer even better the summer now some of us I'm not gonna lie has summer camps that we go to but I don't think the majority of us would actually would have to worry about that you know we have the summer off you might be on vacation you might bring a laptop or whatnot so his release date is really good the next thing that he's doing very well to sell his product is that he's releasing it on three devices all right three devices now robots anime games they don't they don't normally do that part of the series <laughs> it only released for pc and i think mobile i think part of the did release on mobile but that's only it that's kind of a rare case go on and name one anime robots game that released this year for PC, mobile, and Xbox. Right, I can't name any either. Now, Holy War X is releasing, hmm, yep, for PC, mobile, and Xbox. And I know he was gonna try to do something with VR to make it like you can use VR in the game, although I don't know if that's his thing still, but come on, bro. Three devices? No. The Rose community is made up of PC gamers, Xbox gamers, which is, you know, AKA console, and mobile gamers. The majority of the community is made up of PC and mobile gamers. Now, don't get me wrong, Xbox players is going to bring a number in, you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a number, an influx of players just from Xbox. I expect this game to peak almost 200,000 players when it releases, and that's not over-exaggerating. You will come into this video when the game releases and then clown on me if it doesn't reach 200,000 people. I guarantee you 175, at least 175, bro. I'd be surprised if it peaked 150,000. If it peaks 200,000, I wouldn't even be surprised. Now, another thing that they're doing to sell their product really well is Holy War X is actually from a series and most of these series actually do pretty well. So I think it went Holy, it was Holy War, yeah. So I think it went Holy War, then Holy War 2, and then Holy War 3. I never played Holy War or Holy War 2. I don't even know if those like are actual games. I've never seen them before, but I'm assuming so. I do know Holy War 3 is a thing. I played it, you can still play it, it's public. It's dead, but it's public. And now for the people who enjoyed Holy War 3, which was released at a, a very, very, very earlier, uh, earlier stage of Roblox. I don't know when it released, but first time, I guess it was okay. I don't know. Now, Holy War X is actually setting the regards, you know, setting high regards for everybody, and it looks amazing. And uh, everybody's pretty excited for it, so you know, I'm not gonna lie, as a, as a YouTuber, I'm pretty excited for it, you know what I'm saying? My content, I also just like making content people like to watch, you know, genuinely, it's just what, that's what I like to do. I make, I like just like making content people like to watch. So, if you like to watch my content, then that's, I may, I'll make it, bro. Another thing that he's doing very well in is getting other games to advertise his game. Now, Alfrex is a man of, of connections, he has Rel Games advertising his game on release, and he has GPO Grand Peace Online for you advertising his game on release. Now those two are big big communities in the Roblox anime. Now Real Games and For You, Grampies Online, those those people are big 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 developers in the Roblox anime game and for them to advertise Holy War X is amazing. Another thing is the Discord has literally almost a thousand, a hundred thousand people in it before release. The testing hasn't even started. It has almost a hundred thousand people in it, okay? There is this literally hundreds of thousands of people lined up waiting for Holy War X to release. So when Holy War X releases, I guarantee you the Discord is going to fill up. It's going to hit max, all right? It's going to be like Project Slayer Discord is 500,000 right now. There's going to be 500,000 in a Holy War X Discord server. Um, this, this is not even over-exaggeration, bro. Now, I'm going to give my opinion on the like the core aspects of the game. The combat does seem very slow-paced, in my opinion, but I've never tested a game <laughs> yet. I haven't tested the game yet. But yeah, just by looking at it, the combat does look a little bit slow-paced. I guess there's nothing really wrong with that, but me personally, I kind of like a nice high pace. 
combat but honestly i can mess with the slow paced combat and maybe i do need a slow paced combat in my life because i haven't really played a, a lot of games that have slow paced combat now let's do remember that it is a robust game and it is supposed to cater to kids and i honestly think i'm gonna make a separate video explaining that more in detail like what i mean by catering to kids as a robust game now alfie and his dev team is making this game for kids on roblox it's going to be for kids it's going to cater for kids it's not gonna be it's not gonna be it's not gonna be for us you know it's not gonna be if i'm 17 it's not gonna be like for my age group and higher so if you're 18 plus then i mean no i'm not saying that the game isn't gonna be fun for you 20 year olds the game is probably gonna be fun for you 20 year olds especially with your friend your friends you know what i'm saying but just keep that in mind that this game is supposed to cater to kids and when i mean kids i'm talking about the 13 year olds on the app i like the visual effects of the game and oh man the map okay don't get me started one of my friends said that they didn't really like the map the map is pretty garbage in their opinion they're just little weirdos bro i have no idea what the hell they're talking about bro the fact that they took inspiration from ghost of tsushima which is one of my favorite games that i've ever played bro if you've never played ghost of tsushima bro you have to play the game bro you, you have to play the game it's an amazing game and it has an amazing map now they took the inspiration from ghost of tsushima and they put it in their map the map in my eyes it looks phenomenal amazing now with the effects they look phenomenal amazing however the magic in the game some of the ma some of the magic moves are basic like fireball and stuff like that for blaze i mean that's kind of expected especially for like commons but um some of the magics they have like hot like very 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 like uh how should i say this slow slow animations so it takes like i don't know a second for the move to i i know that's on purpose for balancements but Personally, I, I just, oh my, it's the worst feeling when you're using a movie, somebody just cancels it out, bro. It's the worst feeling. So I hope that doesn't happen too much, but honestly, it, it just, it might just be a skill issue if that happens to you a bunch of times, to be honest. You just got to learn the PvP in the comments and stuff, and I think you should be fine. All right. Oh, yes. And there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about. So this game is actually going to get updates, like weekly updates. Now, this game is taking a lot of inspiration from Shindo Life. Now, Alfrex, he actually admires Rail Games, and so do I, I'm not gonna lie. Rail Games is really good dev, or sorry, really good devs, but he's taking inspiration from Shindo Life. Now, you can tell from the main menu, um, etc, etc. A lot of the stuff that he's doing in the game is kind of similar to how Shindo Life is doing their stuff. Now, that kind of says something that this game is just is, is going to pop off because, like, it's it acts like Shindo Life, bro. Shindo Life is a game with 30k people playing it right now. Very, very, very successful successful game she likes a very successful game now one thing that he's going to do is weekly updates and of course once a month there's going to be that big update that big juicy content but every week there's going to be weekly updates and that is actually amazing that is flipping amazing and i actually believe that now when a real developer uh, says that i actually don't believe that but i i believe this i believe this updates weekly updates i believe this and if he, if he misses one week you know it's fine but if he delivers like continuously week after week after week after week after week after week and he misses one week that's fine that's fine that is the thing that is that is all i want all i'm asking for is a fun reliable game that we can rely on for updates that won't die like project slayers is taking a whole month with actually two three months to be that's, that, that's crazy bro that's crazy but i'm not gonna hold you up for any longer i do have a lot more to talk about and a lot to give my opinion on in this game and i might do that in another video 300 likes well, that being said thank you for tuning in I appreciate shoot my really shot doing. like a fucking heat seeker off of the molly and the coke she a keeper no i really love her but no i don't need her no it sounds bad but i never want to leave her yeah i've been in my bag for a long long time i've been going down the road it's a long long Right. And the only one I want is you, my side We gon' split this shit up like it was a part